All right, gents, I've explained the course of fire. Once I step off the ladder. Whoa! What? Can you not hear me? What? Can you not hear me? A few moments later. All right, gents, on the beep, you're gonna shoot two rounds in the chest. Two rounds in the chest. Stand by. Oh. A few moments later. Cease fire! Cease fire! A few moments later. Okay. Oh, here, dog. Oh. Just, just use this one, okay? It's an electronic ear pro. Is it better? Yeah, try it out. There should be a volume button on the side right here. All right. Whoa. Hey guys, this is Brandon for Taprec Bank Training. Today we're going to be talking about hearing protection. Let's start off with setting a baseline. Hearing safe. What's hearing safe, Brandon? One, it's 80 decibels when it comes to constant noise, right? So if you're in a concert, right, and Morgan Wallen is consistently shouting on that mic, then if it's over 80 decibels, then it could actually damage your hearing, okay? Now, when it comes to impulse noises, right, which is gunshots, it can go up to about 140 decibels. So that's our first baseline. So a couple things, nine millimeter common round out there. It's about 156 to 168 uh, decibels. And then 5.56 is about 155. I swear to God, you <laughs> yeah. You okay? Nelson, you all right? What? Suppressed rounds, right? can go up to about 128 to 131. But guess what? Remember that thing where constant versus impulse? If you shoot um, suppressed rounds, right? Or suppressed guns for a certain amount of time, after a certain amount of rounds, they also start becoming not hearing safe. So you just wanna warn you, especially for those guys in free states that can use suppressors, take a look into that box or your user manual. How long is my suppressor hearing safe and for how many rounds and for how much interval in time. Now, let's go into the first type of hearing protection and that is passive hearing protection. By definition, passive hearing protection means you don't have any enhancement towards your hearing, right? It's just passively shutting off your hearing. In a sense, it's either a plug, right? Earplugs that can block off the hearing or it's one of these muffs right here uh, that can cover up your ear and then actually, you know, keep your hearing safe. So let's talk about these things, right? Honestly, when I first started shooting, earmuffs was a thing in the Philippines. Um, I'm sure active protection uh, existed back then, but this was a thing. The problem is when you take a class, you have this on, most people will be unable to hear the instruction of the class. And if they are taking on and off their ear, they run the risk of endangering their hearing because the instructor could just shoot, right? in the middle of the demo. The problem is that in most classes, they expect you to have active hearing protection, right? Another con to this is that a lot of people will save, quote unquote, a few bucks, right? If you buy one of these, right? Not this one specifically, but a lot of the walkers out there or Peltors have cheap uh, passive hearing protection. If you buy those, you are about 75% of the price towards a cheap active hearing protection. Right, so might as well spend a little bit more money to get better performance, right? Instead, you know, of quote unquote, saving a few bucks. But like I said, passive hearing protection doesn't offer any enhancement to your hearing. So you're, it does block the sound, so it does make the gunshots hearing safe, but you're unable to hear the instructor, hear range commands, and eventually it becomes detrimental to your training. So let's talk about active hearing protection. There are two categories based on our research, right? TRB has determined that there are two. One is range gear, right? And the other one is duty rated gear, okay? And we'll get into that as we go through this. So let's start, right? With the most common active hearing protection out there, and that is the Walker razors, okay? You can see these rented out at ranges. You can see people buy these things. And to be quite honest with you, for the longest time, this was the king of active hearing protection, right? Uh, they're cheap, they're close to about, $45 right off um, most websites, and they reduce the sound about 23 decibels, right? 
depending on how good your seal is, you may have to put in ears right whenever you're indoor ranges. But for the most part, honestly, this is good to go. A couple of the problems that we see on the Walker razors is its inability to give you the detail of where the sound's coming from. Sure, there's a microphone on the right and a microphone to the left. I can see and perceive where each one is coming from, but I'm unable to get it in detail, right? Like, is it coming from my five o'clock, four o'clock or three o'clock? I know it's coming from this direction, but I cannot perceive it to where specifically that is right now. For a range gear, honestly, I don't think it's an issue, right? We see a lot of success with our students on this one as they get into CQB shooting and moving though, right? Or if you're in law enforcement capacity or military using this, that might be problematic, okay? Moving on to something new actually that I'm gonna be honest with you, I tried it on today. My topple off the king of um, active pain protection and is the Savior Equipment Apollo, okay? Price point actually is a little cheaper, right? Coming in at about $39, but the quality of the sound being transmitted to your ear is similar or almost similar to a lot of the higher end ear pros right here. So let's talk about that. This one, yes, it still has the left and right microphone, but the process in which it is transmitted in your ear, you can perceive the detail of where the sound's coming from. And so if somebody were talking to you or you hear a sound from your four o'clock, this will give you that four o'clock notice and you'll, you'll hear where the sound is coming from. And I think that's very important when it comes to using your gear in either a defensive use, a law enforcement use or whatever. In real life situation, having an omnidirectional hearing protection is very important, right? Another feature of the Savior Equipment Apollo is that it comes standard with gel cups, right? Most people, when they buy their razors, would eventually upgrade this with a gel cup, spending another 15 to $20 on top of the $45 that you've already spent, okay? The reason they do that is because as the razor gets worn down with this little cheap cup right here, it starts getting squished and then to a point where it starts letting sound through, okay? So the mere fact that this guy come, coming in at $39, better omnidirectional uh, hearing, good hearing protection coming in at about 24 decibels, at the same time standard with gel cups, I think this guy is absolutely a great deal. I make that deal. How about you, you bitch? You make that deal? I make that deal. I don't blame you. Good deal. Now, let's talk about what we've done in our research is what we've considered duty rated hearing protection, okay? This is no way to say that this Apollo is not good enough for range use and for most use, but it does lack a couple of features that the duty rated ones have, okay? Let's talk about that first. This one is coming in at $39. This one comes in at 390 bucks, okay? So the jump in price is extreme. So on the lower end of the duty rated um, hearing protection, you got your MSA Sordans, okay? They come in at about $280, right, for the base model. They have about 19 decibels in terms of its um, hearing protection. It has really great clarity, right, when it comes to your hearing. It has good directional hearing. You're able to get details and it's comms capable. It's also rugged, water resistant, and compatible with a lot of comms and a lot of high cut helmets out there, which this one is not designed for, nor was it meant to compete with the Sortens, right? So that's the base one, which is the MSA Sortens. As you build out your Sortens, you can add more comms in there and the price goes up, right? And that's the basic one. The next one that we've found is the Safari Land Liberators, okay? These are the 2.0s. They come comms capable and they come in three different modes, actually. This is where you start seeing a lot of the features, right? So, first mode is your standard enhancement with you're able to hear, perceive everything. It shuts off gunshots. Um, you got a second mode that blocks all external sounds where you're like, Brendan, why would you want to block all external sounds? Well, if you're in a helicopter, <laughs> Get some, baby! operating inside a vehicle and everything's loud outside, when you connect this to comms, you can block off all the sounds outside except for the internal comms that's, uh, you know, attached to this one. And then the third one, 
this guy has the capability to block off everything except for speech and radio audio, right? So you can be in a loud airport, right? And Royce is talking to me. It blocks off everything except for what Royce is saying. Or if you have a radio where the radio is external, it could block off everything except for what the radio is actually saying. So very important if you're a cop out there or you're in the military, that feature is actually really important, right? So just to go over that again, it has its standard hearing protection feature where it just blocks off the gunshot, enhances everything else. It has the capability to block all external noise except for the radio. And the third one is it can block everything except for a radio sound, right? Or audio and also the speeches of the people around you. So just note you're climbing up the ladder here in terms of its feature. Now let's talk about the king of kings, right? That people have been using for a while, which is the Comtax, right? From Peltor. And this is now currently, I think they're on the number five version or six. We're not gonna go too deep into the features, right? But here's a couple of features, right? If you have a Peltor, you have the capability to have all the things that I've discussed before, but to add the capability to attach comms to a point where you can have your regular hand protection. And let's say you're a JTAC, right? Or a, a operator that will call in airstrikes, whatever. You can have one comms for your infantry guys running on your right side ear. And you can have another comms for the airplanes, right? Or for the pilots on your left side. So you can see and perceive which direction or which uh, radio that the people are talking to you from. Just, just a little tidbit, right? of its capabilities. And by the way, it goes all the way up. It gets even crazier. There's things called Opscore Amps that gives you even more features, right? And these things, last time we checked, right, was about $1,500, okay? So you can go deep down the rabbit hole, but to be honest with you, here's my honest opinion, okay? If you are a civilian protector and you are not running comms, I believe if you can pull it, get as good as the Safari Land Liberators, right? Good hearing protection, have the capability to block out sound, right? Other than the audio and the speeches. And he has the standard omnidirectional feature that you can, you know, have great clarity when you're just listening into it, right? He also has the capability, if you operate in the future, to detach this and attach it to a helmet for you. On the lower end though, if you're only using it for the range, you don't need water resistance, you don't need ruggedness, you're not gonna jump off planes, I guess, then I highly suggest getting the Savior Equipment Apollo based on just using this today. I think it absolutely blows everything here out of the water because it's offering you a lot in terms of its price and its features. If you think all gun laws are an infringement and you live behind the enemy lines in the People's Republic of California, then check out our Unconvicted Felons uh, t-shirt. Uh, came out with this t-shirt design for you where uh, most of us are fed up with the, uh, the situation here in, the, in California. So check it out. Check out our website. Awesome t-shirt coming at you. And our new line of two arms uh, where it stands for two A rights matter. So check out our new t-shirt and help us feed our dog.